Gossage, we're back with another bulletin at half past one. Now, for most dog owners, their pet is the cutest thing in the world. So how would you feel if yours was given the title of the ugliest dog in the UK? Let's find out, because <laughs> this is four-year-old Peggy, who's a pug <laughs> and a Chinese crested cross, and she's in the running for that title. She joins us now with her owner, Holly Middleton. Good morning to you, Holly. Morning. Good morning to you, Peggy. <laughs> oh, Peggy, come on. I feel bad about this. Peggy is beautiful in her own way. I think she's beautiful. I think I, I think she's cute little face, but I am, uh, I'm aware other people don't always think she's the cutest. So you submitted her, you entered her for this ugly dog competition. It, was, it wasn't someone else doing so, it. I need no. to cover Peggy's ears for this. But, yeah, you know, I'm sorry, Peg. Um, no, my, a lot of my friends and family sent me sort of screenshots and tagged me in, in the post saying, you know, Parrot Print running this competition. Um, and I just sent a picture in and didn't really think anything of it. And then she was, she, I got told a couple of days ago she was in the top seven. So we'll find out next week, I think. And you seem like you, you're all right with her being the ugliest dog in Britain, perhaps? I've, I've, That's quite it, it's what it is, yeah. She doesn't know any different. She doesn't know. You're not told she's her. gorgeous. No. Every day, so she doesn't know what she's she's entered for. Um, if she wins, she wins. If she doesn't, she doesn't. They're, they're all they're all super cute, and I think all the all seven of them. You adopted Peggy. Yeah, we did. We was um, we found her online. We we tried to go down the sort of local shelter route because of the age age of my kids at the time. It wasn't an option, so we looked online, found her. She was the last left of sort of an accidental litter, and I just felt sorry for her. Sat there with no hair in her. Her tongue out. There's a key question I have to ask. <laughs> what breed is she? We think she is a pug crossed with a Chinese crested. Wow, how did that happen? I've got no idea. <laughs> I don't think it was on purpose. <laughs> right, okay. There's another key question I have to ask. The tongue. The tongue. Oh, um, <laughs> what's what's going on with the tongue? I've got no idea. She, it's, it's been like that since we got her. It oh. doesn't cause her any issues. She can eat, she can drink, she can do everything it's just oh. there she can get it in her mouth but so it she, just can, can okay. yeah, she can get it in it just doesn't stay there <laughs> maybe she's sending us a message <laughs> sticking her tongue maybe out maybe that's what she thinks of a tongue <laughs> oh, <you're right. laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean you, you, so nobody wanted her and you took her on so you well she was she was six months old so I was just I felt like no one wants her so I I love anything like this just we didn't set out to get a quirky dog but oh. it's definitely I love them I love quirky. Them. an underdog <laughs> quirky an underdog. That, dog. that's better than ugly dog it isn't is, it yeah. yeah because I mean on a more serious note I know there are lots of dogs at the moment that need to be rehoused mm. shelters are full yeah and everybody wants the cutest prettiest fluffiest dog yeah <laughs> you know it it's not always about that, is it? No. Well, people have said, oh, um, it might encourage people to sort of try and breed weird breeds. But I just, I hope it sort of encourages people to not overlook the, the little oddities that are still left on the shelf. I think we're going to show uh, now some of the other contestants. So obviously this is Peggy in her pulse. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love in the costumes. Oh, this is the competition, Peggy. This is who you're up against. <laughs> Okay. An underbite is always great. I think great. that might be Winston George. Who's this? <laughs> that looks very much like Ted from Gone Fish. <laughs> I think that's Roger from West Yorkshire. Uh, this is uh, Marnie from Wiltshire, I think. <laughs> I think that might be Jazz from North Wales. But I have to say, ugly as these dogs are, and again, it feels terrible to say that, they're not a patch. On Peggy, because Peggy's just like I've never seen anything like your right self. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm totally <laughs> but I mean, Peggy looks unlike any other dog. Peggy is utterly unique, and that she is. To, is to be celebrated. Yeah, absolutely. What do you What do you win? What does she win if she wins? Please tell me. It's a fantastic think, prize and worth the. I think it's a little sort of makeover, although I'm not sure. <laughs> what like surgery? <laughs> No, just a pamper session, a grooming session. Try and Talk do something Peggy's with her. She's not impressed with the surgery idea there, John. Peggy, we love you. Can I tell you? Yeah, absolutely. She's, she's, I'm trying to avoid the tongue. No, as soft as anything. Uh, oh, look, you're lovely and we think you're great. And whether you win or not, you're a star. Thank you so much for coming in. <laughs>
Look Thank at Peggy, you, she honey. loves you. She does. I think it's hard to tell. She's got Peg very beautiful eyes. Peggy, it could be worse. You could look like this. <laughs> oh, Not a flicker. Can I just make it clear, we love Peggy and all totally. dogs, ugly, pretty, whatever they are. That is it from us today. We're back tomorrow from six. How's that a warm? How's that for a warm up? <laughs> Sam and Gethin on Morning Live. Good morning. Oh. <laughs>